Lucky boys and girls, my first guest tonight is the Emmy award-winning host of Last Week Tonight on HBO. Please welcome our friend, Mr. John Oliver. <laughs> Good evening to all. So <laughs> nice to see you again. Let me say this. There are some very excitable K-pop fans outside. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, you have yeah. never truly heard disappointment until you pull up in a large black car, hear the screams of excitable K-pop fans, get out, not as a member of a K-pop band, <laughs> and hear, oh, no, next one, maybe next one. <laughs> you could do it. It's never too late. That's, thank you. Thank yeah. you. I feel, I feel yeah. like I do. It's all about confidence, isn't it? It is. Success, yeah. success in a K-pop band is 90% confidence. <laughs> and the, the rest is knowing how to sing in Korean. That's right, yeah. That's right. Both of those... <laughs> that, that part's easy. They, they feel like jumpable hurdles. Sure. <laughs> well, nice to have you back. Thank you for being here for your annual checkup. Thank you. For, <laughs> thank you for having me. Exactly. We'll get there. We'll get there. I don't have the... I put the gloves away, unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, uh, you're about to start season six. You're, yes. You, you probably already started, but it, it yes. launches. Thank you. We're about to start. Sunday. Thank you. Yeah. We're starting mm -hmm. we're on Sunday. Yeah. We've been uh, we've been prepping some things. Confidence is high. Feel good. Think you're gonna <laughs> squeeze out the shows this time? <laughs> you're talking you to, to do me? it. Like I'm at confidence high. No. My no. confidence is never high. Oh, okay. Self-loathing high. Concern astronomic. Sure. Yeah. Sure. You're that's... a creature fueled purely by anxiety. <laughs> that's right. That is... And you know, I've given you, I've given you lots of hell over the years. Like, oh, you do only so many a year, and like that. And you know, I, I'm just joking. I have enormous I know, respect for you. I know you. And I know that your work is incredibly hard. Because look what Thank it's you. doing to you. Look what it is. <laughs> You're decaying. You're decaying before I mean, our very eyes. That's just. <laughs> Just your, you were so, you were jet black hair the last I time I saw you. I was. You looked like you were in a K-pop band the Although last time I the, saw you. The, the key thing with decaying is not to start from a particularly attractive point, because that oh. really knocks the edge off. When you just salt and pepper this up a bit, you go, oh yeah, I guess he's more tired than he was before. <laughs> he always seemed exhausted, even when he had no reason to be. Because you, you're, very, you're very distingué, you're very distinguished. Ah, oh, merci. Yeah. Oh. I'm out of French. I'm totally, 100%. What, what, uh, what, what do you make of the new political reality that you've returned to? Because your last show was right after the midterms, right? Yeah, just exactly, just after that. And then our last show was kind of uh, 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 trying to work out why the world had spent 12 months, it seemed, shifting to the right, whether it was in Hungary or Poland or Brazil. Right. Uh, and um, trying to find some answers at the bottom of that depressing mm -hmm. volcano. Well, we just passed the midterm point in uh, Trump's uh, hopefully first and only term, and some people are saying, "Oh, okay, we're, we, the end is in sight." No, yeah, yeah. I don't say that, but some yeah, people. Are I, saying I, that. I definitely don't have that kind of optimism. To, to say we're halfway through his presidency, I think, is to ignore the concept of a second term possibility. Yeah. So yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, we, we are two to six years away from the end of his presidency. Mm -hmm. The Constitution has given us. Oh wow. So, is, is there some big Trump 2024 fans in here? <laughs> wow, yeah. you're Three pulling terms. a different crowd. Three terms. Why Three not? terms. Why not? But that is a good point. That constitutionally, he, ha he has to go at some point. Yes, exactly. So, we, we all have something to aim at. We all have a finish line, like in a marathon, that we can try and stumble over, <laughs> be covered in a silver cape, and have someone say, you really shouldn't have done that. Which is to stay alive yes. <laughs> until January 21st. 2025? I think that's what we all have to do. All of us, especially Ruth Bader Ginsburg. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right. If, I mean, listen. If she, if she can function Tinkerbell style that we can just keep her alive <laughs> by clapping our hands, then at that point, Pelosi needs to go full alligator clap. <laughs> just believe, children, believe. Well... Here, help, help, help us make us feel better about ourselves as Americans. Uh, you, uh, you, you still get across the pond over to your, your, your family and friends over in England? I haven't, I haven't been back in uh, 18 months, but I've, yeah. You talked to them about what's going over with, with, on with Brexit over oh, there? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that, over there? that's the thing. Like, There's like a month left before the whole thing goes... Yeah, uh, yeah, March... Tea kettle up, March... Right? March 20... <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's, that is... You stumbled into, yes, that's an accurate phrase. Yes, March 29th, the, the tea kettle really comes to a simmer. 
Uh, the biscuits <laughs> really go into the tin. That's right. Then, then we'll really have to dunk the Garibaldi, if you know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> you don't. You don't. We're even. It's too deep We're a cut. Even. Too deep a cut. Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, it's. Uh, you know, I guess the the thing with uh, with the, the current president is that again there is that end point in sight, technically, sure. whenever that point is. Yeah. With Brexit, we're talking about generational damage that could end up being done here. So it's very, very bad. Has any of it happened already? Because I know that it's like March 26th oh. or something like that. 29th. 29th. It's like if they don't get a deal, they, they just have to leave with no... No deal. That's right. No deal. That's what right. What does no deal mean? Well, it means... Uh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what it means. <laughs> it's like saying to someone who's just jumped out of uh, an airplane without a parachute. What does this mean? I guess it means a massive exercise in confidence. Uh, <laughs> let's, let's hope this works out for you. I don't really see what your end plan is here. Well, what, what effects have there been already? Well, there's been... I mean, it hasn't happened yet. That's the crazy thing. Like, so Britain voted for Brexit two years ago. It hasn't technically happened yet. What has happened is that, you know, the British economy has contracted and the pound has been... I think it's down 13%. Are people having to change their sort of their economic plans? Like, well, yeah, case... but based around nothing. So like, even like sheep farmers are having to decide how many sheep shall I have? Or shall my sheep, sheep have, have together? Hopefully, exactly. Yeah. yeah um, <laughs> not, because what you just described is illegal. <laughs> That's right. Uh, <laughs> Though common, I understand. <laughs> Though common in That's, Scotland. That's... Yes. Um, <laughs> not sure quite... Not sure quite what that applause was for. <laughs> and, I know and exactly I think, what it was if, for. If you ask them, I'm not sure they can describe it. Uh, uh, yeah, so th that's the problem. You're having to think so long term that they, they, they are, they, there are lambs that are going to get born probably uh, into a uh, post Brexit Britain, and then you are not going to know the market that you can sell those lambs into. So, so like, you, when to shear them? When will we get the wool? <laughs> well, I think we're both showing exactly our limitations as potential farmers. <laughs> oh. When, when shall I shear you? Um, does, you ask, right? Does one you milk ask. <laughs> you ask. <laughs> Got to get consent. <laughs> have, you ever, have, you ever, have you ever sheared? Have you ever sheared? I actually have sheared. Uh, really? Did, did you like it? Did, did, did you get a I like the smell. I like the smell. Did you? Lanolin. That lanolin smell that... It's a little... Sheared. It's funky, though. There's a, there's a, a funk. We want the funk. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have that funk. Oh, we need the funk. Oh. <laughs> Wow. Gotta have that funk. They're keep always there. They're keep, always there. Keep it, keep it going. <laughs> At some point, CBS are going to have to pay the royalties on that. <laughs> We've got the funk. We have to take a little bit of a break. Yeah. Uh, please don't go. Don't you go. We'll be right back with more. John Oliver, we have a special announcement. A special prize.